Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your old buddy T-Dog, and today I've got a special guest, my grandson. Say hi. Say hi. He wanted to come in and see his papa, so he's going to hang out with me for a few minutes, and we're going to get into this uh, 55 Ford panel. I told y'all that uh, I would weather this uh, on video and that's what we're going to attempt yeah. to do. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Truck? Is that the truck? This boy loves trucks. He loves cars, too. Is that cool or what? See? Can you do that? Like that right there? But anyway, we're going to... Uh, yeah, you, you can see how to do it, can't you? Go ahead. Cool or what? All right. So, Papa's going to get to weathering on this, and you can come back in a little bit, okay? Mwah! In five. All right. Mama's going to come and get him, and we're going to get to work. There you go. Bye-bye. Okay, so that was fun, huh? <laughs> grandkids are the best. Kids are pretty cool, but grandkids are the best. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do, I've got some uh, uh, fresh water over here that I'm going to be doing the sanding with. I use warm, fresh, soapy water when I do my wet sanding, and that helps the sandpaper to glide a lot easier. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be starting out with a thousand grit. I've got this little pad right here that I've used a lot. And I'm gonna wet sand this whole body, and we're gonna make sure we go through in certain places that we know would rust pretty good. Now, this is not going to be a heavy rust, and I'm not going to drill holes in it. I don't do that. For those of you that do, more power to you. That's fine. I'm not going to judge. But for me, I can't do it. I don't want to do it. And I ain't going to do it. So, <laughs> but anyway, let's get this camera situated down here off of me. And uh, we'll see what we can get done today. Maybe I can finish this whole thing. Uh, I'm not feeling too bad. And now tomorrow I got to go and get my impressions done for my uh, new dentures. So uh, we won't be in here tomorrow. So I wanted to come in here today and try to knock this out. And uh, let's see how it goes. Everybody keep your prayers coming. You should have a pretty good uh, view of it right there. We'll make sure. We'll put these out of the way. We're going to do one piece at a time. Here's the hood. All right. So we're going to get started here. Thanks everyone for tuning in. And let's see what we can do. Like I said, we're just going to, we're going to wet sand. And see where we can go through. Now, if the thousand, oh, looky here, we've already got it going through. That's what we want. This ain't going to be shiny and pretty. Oh, yeah, we're starting to get a little bit of effect already. Nice. I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm not having a bad day. I got a little dizzy before I come in here, but. That has subsided, and uh, it is what it is, right? See, now we're starting to look like something. I 
I don't want it real heavy, like I said. Just a little bit here on the front. As always, if you've watched me on here before, if you're a subscriber, you know, you've watched these videos, you know that I've got shaky hands. They're shaking right now, but it's not so bad. I can put it down here and use it to my advantage. Okay, so, so far, that's what we've got. I like it. So far, I'm very happy with that. Now, I will be adding some rust to that. Okay, I'm not going to leave it as is. Now these spots up here on the front, these areas on the front, wouldn't be as rusty usually. They might be faded, you know, and all that, but wouldn't really be that rusty. So we're not going to, all right, that's fine. We're not going to get real heavy on top. Keep it good and wet. Some people use spray bottles. I mean, you can you can do whatever. I don't want this to look exactly like that. So we're going to try to be careful right here. Where that don't happen. Let's go through here just a little bit because it's on a, an edge, a corner. That looks pretty weathered right there. Let me get over here on the side just a little bit. Like I said, we're not going to get carried away with this rust job. Uh, Joe, uh, Joe Long, who is the one I'm doing this for, he doesn't want a heavy rust job. He wants to be able to see what color the truck is uh, uh, originally painted. So, you know what? I'm liking that pretty good. And I think we're going to call that good on there. Maybe a little on the edge, just right here on the. There's no exact science to this, y'all. None whatsoever. You do how you feel, you know. We're going to use this one. I think I'm going to lay that down. We're going to soak up that water. Won't be so messy. All right. So there you go. There's that one. Sanded. Now, it's not done by no means. But it is sanded. And I can also use that to dry this thing off some so we can look at it. Oh, yeah. That's looking good. Right down to the red, which is supposed to be red oxide primer. It looks a little red, but that's fine. It's no, no harm, no foul right there. So we're gonna put that over to the side. And we're gonna start on the body. Now this is gonna take a little bit longer. Of course, it's bigger, you know. paint and glue on this. Yeah, that's fine though. Alright, so I'm going to start on the roof. Now, usually when I sand, if I'm wet sanding the body to make it shiny and everything, I don't press down. You're not supposed to. On these, I, I give it a little bit, not just a little bit of tension, not a lot, because I want it to go through. I don't want the whole roof to be. Let me get some more. Okay. 
Okay, we got a place through right there. I want one up here somewhere. It'll come through. I got a lot of paint on this one, which is fine. No harm, no foul, as I always say. All right, now we're start, starting to go through some. dry a little bit. So we'll keep pressing on. Grandson's wanting in here. I'll get him in here back in here in a little bit. I need to get this done. We'll be working on it. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Like I said, I don't want heavy, heavy, heavy. This is going to be a survivor. Just an old barn find or field find or whatever, you know. plenty. I don't want to do no more than that. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Maybe a little bit right there. There we go. There we go. It just looks like the, the paint is wore through, and that's what I want. All right, so let's do start doing the side. to it won't be too bad look like something like something rusty <laughs> you know what I think I'm gonna switch to a let's switch off to a 600 get some soapy water on it We know that's going to be wore out out there up there because when you how many of us when we, when we're riding down the road we want to tend to stick our arm out the out the door and just kind of hang it right there so we'll give that a little bit of a wet uh, wear pattern and then I'll put some rust right there. See, I've already wore through real good on that fender right there, but that's all right. Here's what we're looking like so far. Still green. Man said he wanted green, he got green. Now on top of the fenders, you're gonna have some wear, pretty good bit usually. I do research on these things. I go and I'll Google 55 Ford panel uh, weathered or 53 to 55 Ford panel weathered or 
you know, something to that effect, whatever body style these are. I'm not going to put any dents in it or nothing like that. It's just going to be a simple weather job. I'm liking what I'm seeing, y'all. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I need a little bit more back here on this quarter. On just about any old vehicle right here at the cowl water always goes down in here and gets it to the bottom of that fender right there and usually rusts it pretty good bit so we'll be doing that we'll be adding some rust to that okay so so far I need to come up on that fender a little bit front pan where the bumper goes not too bad okay so now let's start over here now let's get the top of the fender and it's going to go through real quick so i'm going to Try not to bear down as hard with the 600, although the 600 is doing a great job of going through this paint. forget this cowl would probably have a little bit of rust on it a little bit of weathering so we'll do that while we're here continue right. so let's get up think that might be it for all the sanding let me dry this okay let's give it a little dry right here So now, this is getting wet. All right. So it's time to get my weathering paints out. Weathering powder. So we're going to get this.
burnt umber. That's what we're starting out with. Shake him up real good. Start to see that's all shook up. All right. Now this right here, you blotch on. When I, what I mean is you do this. And guys and gals, if you make a mistake with this paint, it is easily corrected. Okay? Oh, yeah. Nothing heavy. Nothing needed. Okay, here we go on the, the body. We're going to start right here. Especially where it's white. Okay. So here, we... Right, here we go. Now what I'm doing now is building up the rust for texture, gives it depth. If you just paint it on there, it looks like it's painted on there. But if you dab it on there like this right here, do it a couple of times, you'll build up a uh, texture which anybody knows rust has texture. So if you feel of one of my uh, weather jobs, you will feel texture. It won't be smooth. All right, I think.
Blink. Okay. I think that ought to do it for now on this, uh, at this point in the, uh, for the top anyway. Let's try this. That little brush wasn't working out too good. Too clean down there. It's like Mr. T Dog watching a horror flick. Okay, let's give let's give a little bit right there. Draw that off. Now we're going to put the terracotta on. Okay. All right. So let's start with the hood. Set you over there right there. Let's start with the hood. Now this we're not going to dab it on. We're going to dry brush it on. So we're going to come over here and we're going to take off most of the paint off of the brush. And then all I want to do is just kind of do that right there. And I don't know if you can see that or not. You can barely see it probably. But now we're starting to turn a little bit of orange with it. That's what we want. Again. That's all right. I'll fix that here shortly. Okay. That's that on that now. Now we're going to start up here in the front. Just a little bit. With the terracotta. Alright, now we got quite a bit up here. Okay. 
Let's look and see what we've got here. What do you look like on here? Okay, let's set it down. Okay, weathering powder. It's like red clay dirt. I did get in there and I get quite a bit on the brush. We're gonna do the hood first. Okay, and I wanna do the whole thing. All right. <laughs> Dirtied up now. We're gonna do the uh, same thing with this whole panel. see that and there you are all it needs now is uh, to be flat cleared um, well, I just found something I need to do first This, all these running boards need are uh, just rusted all the way because the bottom of the body is pretty much so we're just going to rust that all the way through there. Other than putting some matte clear on it, that should be it for the weather. I'm going to have to matte clear it. I 
Of course, I ain't worried about dust or anything. take a look over here I'm gonna I'm gonna mat clear this thing use this stuff right here that's pretty good stuff um, fast drying non yellowing seals and protects for indoor and outdoor project projects and it's acrylic so and it's a matte finish and as I always say safety first y'all Well, y'all, there it is. As you can see, like I was saying, the, the, the top is absolutely beautiful as far as weathered and the right look. <laughs> There's quite a few places on this thing. Of course, I mean, matte is matte as far as finishes go. And, and some of it probably would shine maybe. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to uh, uh, change it, I don't think. I think I'm going to leave it. I'm pretty sure Joey's going to love it. It's pretty much already set up. There's the top. It does have a little bit of a shine, don't it? That's matte finish for you, though. It, I think it looks good. There's the hood. Take it off and set it down there. There's the side. Y'all, give me a comment. Tell me what you think. I'm happy. I am not unhappy with this truck. This panel truck uh, right here. Uh, and I, like I said, I believe Joey's going to love it. There's the running boards to match the rest of the body. I just rusted them all the way. They probably would be. And then here's under the uh, chassis. So, I think I like it. I think I like it. I have to build me another one of these one of these days. I, uh, I built one before and I weathered it, put a Hemi in it and it was really cool. Dropped it on on the ground and everything. And so there you have it. 155 Ford panel. This is the monogram uh, Harley Davidson uh, motorcycles edition. Uh, this is the way Joey wanted it. So, uh, Joe, buddy, I hope you like it. If you don't, tough. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I know what Joe likes, and Joe's going to love this. So, I hope y'all like it. And if you don't, I hate it. I'm sorry. Not everybody has the same taste. That's why God made us all different. I'll quit running it around there so fast so y'all can get a really good look at it so there you have it 55 Ford panel is weathered uh, I hope y'all have uh, enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making it if you haven't already I'd appreciate it if you would like subscribe share Hit that notification bell so you'll know it when I upload a video. And uh, put me a comment down in the comment section below telling me what you think about this old 55 Ford panel and how I did it. A lot of people I know would probably have done it different. This is the way I weather. If anybody wants a shop card, uh, 
send me an email and uh, we'll, we'll do that. I'm going to put my email up right about there and uh, send me an email. Hey, T-Dog, I would love to have one of your shop cards and let's swap. I'm getting new ones uh, tomorrow, so I'll be sending some out. Uh, but if, if, uh, if you don't have a YouTube channel, that's fine. Not everybody does. I didn't until last year. But if you still want one of my shop cards to put up in your shop, that's fine. Send me an email and uh, I'll send you one out. Uh, thanks to uh, Manny, Manny Scale Modeling, for making these new shop cards that are coming. I know I've already gave him a shout out, but I can't give him enough because he's done a lot for me. Manny, I appreciate you, man. Uh, but I think, I think that's going to wrap it up for me today. I've been in here for quite a while. We don't want to push it. I got to go tomorrow, as I said before, and get my impressions done for my new dentures. Uh, the jaw is healing up nicely. Oh, and I've got a, I got a special build coming up. I'll go ahead and tell you because I can't keep a secret from no one and everyone that knows me knows that. I recently acquired some planes and some ships uh, model kits. Some of them brand new. And I've already traded them to a, a good friend and brother of mine. We're going to do some trading and I'm going to be getting some more uh, show rods. So that's another thing. But one of the kits is the Titanic, and it's a big, big, big ship uh, kit. And I just happened to ask my dad, hey, would you be interested in helping me build this ship? And he said, why not? So, coming soon to this channel, I'm not going to say that I will video us building it. I'll give you updates. And of course, I'll, uh, I'll let get Dad come on with me and uh, we'll give you updates. How's that? Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. Dad and I have only built one model completely together in our life. Uh, and that... That was uh, such a blessing to me. We built the little hot dogger. It's a show rod. I'm sure people, some of you know it, some of you don't. I am looking for one, by the way, if uh, anybody comes across one with a reasonable price. Or I'll be more than happy to trade you something for it. I, I want a little hot dogger kit for my collection that I have started now. I just, I, I've done so many of them for dad and for friends too that I decided I'm going to start my own collection. I've got the the Munster's Coach and Dragula up there. I've had them for for uh, quite a few years. And I've got Vandal, but I didn't build him as a Vandal. But I've got, I'll have some coming from that. Uh, we did, uh, Dad and I, we started on a 35 Auburn boat tail speedster now that is a cool car it was a cool kit uh, unfortunately dad wasn't able to uh, finish it with us his hands started getting really bad and that's before mine got bad but he has agreed to help me build this sh uh, ship the titanic and uh, i'm excited i'm really excited so uh, look for that in the near future Good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise. But I believe that's going to do it for me today. And we'll catch you next time on T-Dogs, Marvel Cars.